an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm super excited to show you the all new Gober. This here is a smart AI robot that is both fun as well as interactive. So seeing what it's all about should be quite interesting. Now if you want your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's on the inside. So this here's our box uh, on the cover itself. It does show Gomer kind of winking over there. So the smart robot for steam education as well as family fun. Now it's actually a decently sized box and it's actually quite heavy. Uh, on this side here, it talks about a little more in terms of detail. So it does have artificial intelligence. Uh, it has uh, STEM education. So you can actually go ahead and uh, program it to do among different things in which it has a graphical programming app. So do keep that in mind. And it has an all-purpose grab, which is it's like a soft grip. It's got an idle mode, so it can go ahead and maneuver itself and kind of explore the environment around it. It has interactive games, so you can go ahead and play with it among different things. Uh, it's got real-time video streaming, so you can see everything on your phone at the same time and see what Goomer is seeing as well as see what is he's processing at the same time. And then you also have the ability to message transfer, so you can go ahead and send messages using Goomer as well. So that's always a nice touch that you can go ahead and explore expand on that and do a variety of different things and it makes a great template in terms of STEM education. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's on the inside. Alright, over here we have a quick little user manual kind of in terms of explaining exactly what the purpose of this robot is and how it works with AI education, how it recognizes patterns and how you can actually recognize faces as among other things. And you can see even over here kind of the picture of how it's processing data. Over here is the app in terms of programming goes. So you can go ahead and draw, create different structures and like have different kind of uh, display features on the character itself. So that's always nice and over here shows how you can program it to do different things in terms of like student education and then here is more in terms of robotic education wise so you can go ahead and have like more playful learning and play among other goomers and just kind of have an idle mode where you can go ahead and have let's say smile as well as do different features in terms of like recognizing you and seeing your facial expressions as well now over here are some different curriculums that you can do with the robot so it kind of gives you an idea in terms of grades you can do from one through seven and over here some media coverage and just very, very nice booklet than unless so so let's see what's in here. So this is like a handle and ha ah, wow so there's a part of our goomer right there. I see there's three blocks as well as it looks like a charger. So let's go ahead and take this stuff out here. So this here's everything that it comes with. We get three different blocks, an AC adapter as well as our goomer. Now each of these blocks have different logos on them allowing the robot to see these different blocks so it can go ahead and stack them as well as play games. Not to mention you can always go ahead and program it to do different things. For instance if it sees a block you can go and express a different expression, show a different feature etc. And then over here's our AC adapter which allows us to go ahead and plug it directly into the robot and charge it and then this here is our robot in general and it's actually a very nice solid feel to it uh, definitely has a nice durable quality look to it as well uh, we have ourselves a claw that goes all the way around just like that uh, and then it has a nice rubber grip so do note that it does have a nice grip on there that allows it to go grab different things and different objects so we'll go ahead and grab these blocks and stack them on top of each other and then over here is our head which maneuvers up just as much as that uh, underneath here we have ourselves a uh, power button so it's going to hold this and it'll turn on there's an LCD screen in here so it can show different features in terms of facial expressions it has a camera here so it can see you as well as recognize different objects uh, and then behind here is like a speaker so so you can go ahead and like play sounds through it which is always nice as well as communicate messages now on the bottom here we have it looks like almost like a charging port here so you can go ahead and get a dock for this robot have it park on there and charge it as well over here we have a sensor allowing to go ahead and do like line tracking etc uh, and then over here we have two different rails on both sides uh, made out of a rubber compound so it does have a good amount of traction allowing to go over different objects which is always nice as well and then we also have a sensor on the back here so it goes ahead and gives a good environment sensing in terms of the robot goes which is definitely is very promising so with that being said let's go ahead and turn on our goomer next and see what he's all about 
All right, so we're all set and ready to go. So the first thing we'll do is hold this power button here. This will go ahead and turn on our Goomer. And you'll see that there's an LED behind the button that's lighting up now. And he is currently booting. <laughs> and our Goomer is finally awake. So you can see, you know, he does have some LED in his eyes right there, and then he's got this claw, and he's got this almost like a AI kind of feel to it as it's kind of maneuvering around. It's actually uh, looking around to kind of get an idea of what's going on. So it does recognize things as well as people. So it looks, it looks like it's looking directly at me right now. Hi. And no, it just responded back to me. Uh, and does have. <laughs> Hi Goomer, and it does have a lot of different, oh, so there you go. <laughs> so definitely a cute little character. Uh, so let's just go ahead, oh, see? Uh, he almost went on the edge right there, but he did back off. So he does have these sensors, so you can put him on a table and he knows exactly his surroundings. So that's always a good thing as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up the uh, Goomer app next. Oh look, it wants to shake. <laughs> and just put a little heart on his face. You can see that right there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and open up this app next. So this is just a quick little tutorial telling you about what you can do with it. So you can program it, you can play games, and do a lot of different things. So let's just go ahead and click on control. So control allows you to go ahead and see what the robot sees. So in this case here, it sees me. <laughs> so you can go ahead and control it using the joystick on the left side here. So for instance, if I hit back, you'll see that it goes back. If I hit left, it'll go left. If I hit right, etc. Uh, so you know it does give you an idea exactly how that works out. And then you have control over the claw too, so you can go ahead and maneuver it front or back. And then you can go ahead and extend it just like that. And then you can use the two together and get a very uh, different kind of position kind of feel to it. So for instance, if I just go ahead and put this block in front of him, let's see if we can go ahead and grab it. I'm gonna go ahead and move up just a little bit right there and then go and lower it, Oop, there you go. And then we have the uh, grip button here on the right, so I'm gonna click close. And as you can tell, I just picked it up right there and we can go ahead and lift it up. And voila, we just grabbed ourselves a block. So you know, there's a few different things that you can do. So let's go ahead and open it up, there you go. And let's go ahead and back up for right now. So kind of gives you an idea of how that works out. Uh, and on the left side here, we can talk to Goomer. So if I hit it on the OK on here, and then if I hit the microphone, so you have to hold that button and talk into it. So I'll be like, hi guys, this is Conflicts, and my name is Goomer, woohoo! Hi guys, this is Conflicts, and my name is Goomer, So it does make your sound uh, almost like a cute little robot, which is pretty fun stuff as well, so it does alter your voice. Uh, so that always makes it a, like a unique aspect in terms of what you can do. So we can actually click on camera here and we can rotate the field of view which allows us to go ahead and look at the uh, robot from another perspective. Uh, this kind of allows us to go ahead and record and kind of share images and you can actually like control it using like you know that kind of view as well. So that actually does make it kind of fun. You know it's something a little different to see you know like a gift so you can show off with your friends like hey this is my robot and you can interact with it. Be like hey what's up guys. <laughs> so, hey guys, what's up? Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of fun to do that as well. So let's go ahead and go back to the field of view of Goomer and we can go ahead and like continue to move him around a little bit. So we also have other different functions. So if I click on this star right here, these are different emotions. So if I click on like, ta-da. You'll see that he'll express that emotion. So this is like a wink. All right. He said, I like you, and he does a little wink. And then this here's like blushing. Whoa. <laughs> uh, and then here's a heart. All right, and then here's a, another expression. It's like a happy. That's fun. All right, and then we have like angry as well. So let's try out angry. Hmm. Whoa, <laughs> he got angry there. All right, this is sad. Aw, poor Goomer. <laughs> All 
All right, and then this is cool. So this is cool. Uh, this is confused. And then this here is scared. <laughs> uh, this here is uh, confused or dizzy. <laughs> uh, this here is another one. It's like a little cat. <laughs> That's like a happy one right there. Okay. This is like a upset. Okay, this is sleepy. So say Z Z Z Z Z. Hey, you fell asleep. <laughs> All right, so it kind of gives you an idea of what that control is. You can do other things. You can take photos. You can record. Uh, and you know, there's a variety of different things in terms of how you can go out and control Goomer. So it does give you a full ability of accessing him, so that's always nice. Now, continuing on, we have a few other different features. So this here's a show mode. Uh, so he can meet you, he can auto grab, you can shake hands, stack blocks, etc. So let's just go ahead and try something different. We'll try out the stack blocks feature. So I'm going to go ahead and it says put two or more blocks in front of Goomer and see how he plays with them. So let's hit start and see what he does. Okay, so it looks like he's analyzing. All right, so you grab the first one. All right, so it looks like he's lining up with the second just to drop it on top of it. Nice. <laughs> so that's one thing you could do. Uh, so you can stack a block. Uh, he can also shake hands. So the way shaking hands works is you just go ahead and press that button and uh, he'll look for us. Uh, here you go. So he's gonna reach out his hand and he'll see a sensor in front of him and he'll shake your hand just like that. I like you too, Goomer. <laughs> And he does a little wink at the end. So we'll hit back. Uh, so we have auto grab. Um, auto grab is uh, pretty much what he does. He just grabs the objects with a special pattern. So let's go ahead and see how that works out. All right, so he just grabbed it. So, you know, he'll just kind of grab it and kind of be on his own. Uh, then we have expression detector, so he'll actually be able to detect different expressions. So let's see how this works out. So I'm gonna go ahead and look right into him. Mm, sad face. All right, he keeps thinking I'm scared. But you know, it's a nice concept. It allows you to do expression detection. Maybe the lighting might be a little off right now, but kind of gives you an idea what that is. Uh, and then this here is meet you. So what he'll do is if you click on plus, you can go ahead and type in your name. So we'll type my name Khan. Uh, so when he sees me, he'll say Khan. Uh, so it's going to detect my face right now. Uh, oh wow. He's got a very deep voice. So now on, if he sees me, he'll say my name. All right, so moving on back. Uh, so that is show. Now in terms of program goes, you can go ahead and always create a project uh, <laughs> and do different things. Yeah, so I just said my name right there. Anyway, so you can go ahead and create a project uh, and over here you can go and start, you can do different poses, you can kind of build your own STEM uh, education kind of like concept. So coding aspect, it does teach you about that, which is very nice. So you got a lot of different things that you can do over here. So it allows you to go ahead and like maneuver a block, etc. So that's always nice. So we'll click on an example for now. So this here is like a basic demonstration. So it says repeat 20 times. Uh, if it sees people, it'll ask you how are you. It'll display an image of a flower on the screen and move forward, shake your hand, move back. Uh, and if it sees a block, it'll do a different thing. So we're gonna click on black back here and click on the basic demo and hit start. How are you? 
So they'll say hi, how are you? And I'll display a picture of the flowers. And I'll try shaking our hand. So we're gonna put our hand right here. There we go. I'll move back. And if it sees this block right over here, which is on there, it'll rotate its wrist to 100, arm rotate and grab it. There we go. And then it's gonna go ahead and turn left. And it's gonna release it and create an emotion. And he does a little spin. So it kind of gives you an idea what you can do with it. So it definitely does have a nice idea in terms of STEM education. So carrying on, uh, we have ourselves a play mode. Uh, so the play mode allows you to go ahead and play a game. So this here is a racing escape. So the way this game works is quite interesting. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna go ahead and grab the block. And then as soon as the music changes, you're supposed to grab it from him. Uh, and if you are unable to, he'll get a point. And if you are, then you get a point. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the block in front of him, just like that. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and grab it. And then the game's about to start. All right, so wait till the music changes. There you go, and I'm gonna try grabbing it. Oh. There you go, I got it. And I got a point. So obviously it's a lot more fun when you're playing on the ground because he'll actually start running away from you and you gotta like literally catch him to grab it. So you know, it's actually kind of fun in terms of a game goes, uh, just because it does use the speed of the robot, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and click on AR next. So what you can do is you can always go ahead and like control the robot here and then place different objects in the field. So if I click on plus, I can put like a, like a candle. Uh, and then place that right over here. There you go. And then, you know, kind of have the robot like work with it. So it does create a very interesting aspect and almost looks like it's really there. So that's really nice. Uh, so you got a few different things that you can do. So I'll click on plus again. I'll go ahead and put a chair. I'll put that right over here as well. And we'll actually go ahead and put it just a little bit back right there. So we have ourselves a chair. Uh, we can actually go ahead and like have the robot kind of interact with it, which is really nice. Um, obviously, you know, it's still a work in progress, but it does give you an idea what you can do with it. Especially in the modern day, this here is the future, so AR is definitely a very unique aspect in this robot. Alright, well, there you have it. Kind of gives you an idea of what Gomer is about. Definitely a very interesting robot. Uh, has a lot of fun characteristics, and it does have a lot of potential, especially in the whole STEM education. It's actually a very nice, fairly sized robot, and I really enjoyed it a lot, and it actually creates a very fun aspect in terms of robotics. Now, if you had any questions about Gomer itself, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs>